Okay, we're back. I added a little bit of surface treatment. I took my little blocks and I added some surface treatment to my piece, as you can see. I took, just took my finger, my thumb, and, and did a little indents around the edge, the top edge, just to kind of give it some, a little bit of a finished look to it. What I'm gonna do now is make a handle. This is a piece of scrap clay that I had that I cut off here. I'm just gonna cut some thin strips out of it. I mean, I could just stick this on there, but I thought, eh, that's pretty, um, you know, uninteresting, let's say. So I'm gonna cut some strips. One, I'll do at least three. This hopefully will work. I've never done it with a slab. I've done it with coils. But I don't see why it shouldn't work. Let's see, and one more. And then I'm gonna take these and I'm going to, if I had a spray bottle, I'd spray them down, but I don't. So I'm just gonna put a little water on them like so, from my little slip container. And I'm gonna take these, pinch the end together like this and just twist it, like so. I could do a better job of that. Let me take that apart. Actually, I could braid these, which maybe might be even more interesting. Let's try that. There we go, that's even more interesting, isn't it? So I'm gonna braid my little strips together like so. All right. And that's gonna be my handle. I'll cut off what I don't need, the ugly parts <laughs> in the essay. There we go. I'll then bring my piece over here and I'm gonna lo locate where my seam was. And so kind of hiding that. And the other thing about surface treatment that I put on here, sometimes it hides a myriad of little imperfections, you know? So that's what's nice about surface treatment. I didn't have to make the perfect piece, let's say. This is where the seam was. I'm gonna score and slip that. And then directly below it, down here, I'll score and slip it down here using my serrated rib. And then I'm gonna score and slip my Handle, top and bottom, and maybe I'm going to score it on the other side as I think about this and do it. You know, as you're working on things, you'll get lots of ideas, and some of those ideas weren't ones you planned, it just sort of happened. Take this, like so. Now, if I want a nice curve in the top, sometimes I'll invert my object like that. That way, gravity pulls down on the handle, and I'll let it dry that way, so I have a nice curve in the top if my clay is slumping or something. Okay, I want to put it on there, make sure I smooth this out, make sure it's well attached, make sure it's well attached there. Now what I'm going to do is pull the can out along with the paper, and voila, there is my mug. All right, let's see. Get a better look at that. It's a little clay's a little soft yet, but all right, there you go. There's my mug. The handle looks a little big. Maybe I'll bring it up like that. There we go. And again, I might invert it on the edge of the table so I get that nice curve in the top. All right, so there you go. Making a mug. Um, thank you, everyone. Oops, there's coffee. <laughs> coffee came out of there. All right, that'd be interesting to fight with the coffee in there, huh? Okay, everyone, thank you, and uh, good luck making your mugs, and I hope you're all doing well, and, um, you know, be creative.